Oh my gosh. I did not expect it to be raining today. Oh. Okay. Welcome back. Vlogmas day. Not vlogmas day. Vlogmas week three. It's drizzling. It's cold. It's definitely like winter weather vibes. Um, but it's 11 o'clock right now on a Friday and it's LASIK day, baby. So I have to be in Raleigh to get LASIK at like 1.30. So I'm gonna go home and probably shower really quick and then head that way. My mom's coming with me and my grandma is gonna come chill with my mom and keep her company because um, they said I'd be there for like three hours today. So, whoa, this car is not gonna stop for me. Skr, mm, skr. This is the current situation. They told me to put this little thing on and she said I didn't have to put all my hair in and then she put these little things over my ears. I'm not really sure why, um, but I'm in this little room and they have Nutri-Grain bars. Thank God, because I'm starving. We've got water, a TV. So I'm just in this room for like 15 minutes, I think she said. Um, just chilling. She told me I could change the channel, which I'm gonna do because I actually wanna watch TV right now. Um, but yeah, I just took a Valium. So that should make me like calm. And then when I leave, she told me to take another one. And then hopefully I'll go to sleep after I leave. But looking a little crazy. Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a Nutri-Grain bar, but thank God, I am starving. I think this sticks to this on this side. And then, so you basically just pull off both sides. So you pull off the red side and the black side. Yeah. All right, let's go do it. Let's just go put the little thing up. I feel like I've seen the song from right to right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what about that black piece? <laughs> Don't <laughs> mess it up, I just paid $3 for that, please. <laughs> I should have read the instructions to <laughs> So I think we should put it right here. But we'll make sure you go down here, like walk down, down a couple. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas week three. We're at the house right now, me and Brandon, and we're trying to put a little command hook to the door. Because as y'all could see in the last video, if you watched my last video, I came here twice trying to put a freaking reef on the door and it failed both times so i'm hoping third time's the charm um we already messed up one command hook because we didn't know how to put it on so now we're trying again um but i had a follow-up appointment with my lasik this morning and it went really well i can see everything perfectly and my eyes are just like a little bit swollen i think but i can see like really well oh, my bad. okay hold on so it's not done yet no so it says um and hold for 10 seconds that was step three and we have six steps I press base firmly for 30 seconds and then it says slide hook back on wait one hour before use you don't have to wait no hour bro it's, it, it should be sticking like it's glass there's no way all right whatever all right just hang it we've <laughs> we've been here three <laughs> times oh my god Final product. Get out of here, you cool freak.
currently 7 a.m. And I'm getting ready for Richard's college graduation. He gets, uh, he graduates at um, nine o'clock at the PNC Arena in Raleigh. Um, he's graduating from NC State and he is about to be here to pick me up and obviously I'm not ready. Um, it's actually 7.09 on the dot and our goal was to leave between 7 and 7.15 because the graduation starts at 9. Um, but so we're actually doing pretty good on time but he's going to be here in like a couple minutes. And my mom like ironed his, um, my mom ironed like his gown and stuff. So he's going to like come in here to get it. I'm sure like any, any second now he's going to be coming in. But anyway, I'm going to do like a really light makeup because we're just going to be like sitting there like watching his graduation. I don't want to be feeling gross, feeling like a cakey face of makeup. You know what I mean? But I also want to look really good i'm wearing that dress that i got at aritzia in washington when i went in uh, vlogmas week one it's really really pretty it's kind of like a sweater material let me wet my beauty blender i just figured i'd sit here and um hmm. i'm I just figured I would sit here and let you guys get ready with me. I already curled my hair, even though it looks kind of bad. I'm going to put on a little bit of this um, Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a foundation, but I'm just going to put it like right here on my cheeks, basically. A little bit over here, like on my acne scars which I'm going to conceal those in a minute um, but I'm literally just going to put it on my cheeks I'm not even going to put it on my forehead because I actually saw on TikTok I don't know how true this is but I saw that if you put foundation over areas that you have texture which I have texture on my forehead that it like makes your texture more known or something and I don't want to do that. Um, but after Richard's graduation, I'm assuming we're going to go eat with like his family and stuff. My parents are also going to the graduation. Um, but I'm assuming we're going to eat like with his family and stuff. And then after we eat, after the graduation, all that stuff's done, then I have to be at my last eye appointment for LASIK. Um, I got LASIK mm, a few days ago. Um, I'm not sure if I've updated you guys yet in this vlog about LASIK, but it went well, and I can go um, like into more detail about LASIK um, later in the video, or maybe I've already gone in it before the, before this clip or whatever. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I have one last follow-up appointment. I had a follow-up appointment the morning after the surgery. Um, and then they want to do one more follow-up appointment. So I'll be done with all that after today. So I have that appointment at 3 o'clock. Richard just got here. I can hear him coming in. So that's all I'm doing for my face. Or for like the base of my face. I'm going to put some bronzer on. My forehead and stuff. I should have concealed my acne scars out there, but I forgot. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not cutting this out. So we'll keep this under. Are you excited to graduate? Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, change into your khakis and your um, white shirt, and then we'll change into your gown later like we can okay, just bring well, which car do you want to drive because i'm gonna crank it okay so back to the makeup i'm doing bronzer on my face oh also i figured while i was in raleigh for like graduation and then after the graduation for the lasik appointment i figured it'd be a perfect time to go to sephora and pick up 
some new makeup products like i really really want the not only want i really need some powder um so i was gonna get the charlotte tilbury powder that everybody keeps talking about um so i was gonna do that i was also gonna try to pick up a few more products if i can actually find them because every time i go to look for certain products they're always sold out but anyway so i was gonna do that and i was also gonna do like a little bit of christmas shopping because i have done no christmas shopping i don't have a gift for anybody and i need to do that um i'm putting on the rare beauty blush right now i never do this i don't know what just possessed me to um put that on my eyelid and it's so pigmented i'm probably gonna regret it but it's okay i didn't put too much on my cheeks because i'm gonna put a little bit more blush on in a minute a different kind but anyway i'm excited about his graduation i'm also excited to be done with the whole lasik situation um i'm glad my oh that was i really don't need to be rubbing in my eyes um but i'm glad that this is going to be my last appointment and i'm also excited to do a little bit of christmas shopping for a few people i just feel like why not since i'm already going to be in raleigh you know what i mean like, why not <clears throat> i'm gonna use some clinique um blush over top of that just to make it real blushy we love blush around here and I'm gonna have to like go to my mom's bathroom and get her um powder. Maybe I can just use like blushes, a little bit of powder or something. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow and then mascara, and that's it. So like two second makeup routine. This eyeshadow palette is the absolute best eyeshadow palette in the entire world. It is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And it's so good if you like your makeup to be like easy and nothing crazy. Like unless you really like a lot of drastic colors in your makeup or on your eyes. Then this is the perfect palette for you. I love it because there's no glitter in it. I hate shimmery eyeshadow unless like I want that type of look but just for a day to day I just want something like this that's simple so I love this palette everything's matte and it's all like neutral brown colors so it's really nice I'm also going to go underneath a little bit I'm going to take this little like flat brush that I found like, in a random drawer and I'm going to get a dark shade and I'm going to go in with like a little bit of um, like eyeliner and I'm going to do a little wing. Take a little baby wing. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I always hate doing a wing on this side because it never works out like the other side does. I'm using this um, random lip liner from Dollar General. This is honestly a really good lip liner. It's one of my favorite um, like drugstore lip liners. It's called Believe or it's by the brand Believe. And the color is, what's the color? Barely there. It's really, really pretty. One of my other favorite um, lip liners is the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's an Iconic Nude, which I have that, but it's a, see, I like this one because you can just twist it and it gets more product out. But the Charlotte Tilbury one is like actual, like a wood pencil. So you have to sharpen it and I don't, have a lip sharpener 
So I need to buy one today, Sephora. If I can find one. McDonald's, Mariah. What the? What are you doing here? What are you gonna get, Mariah? Here we go. <laughs> what do you want? Um, I think I'm gonna get one sausage burrito. One? Yeah. Why one? Because I don't want to. But I want two. You want two? Yeah. Then you get two, and I'll get one. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I want. I think we're putting the thieves. Can I get a number seven combo? Okay, and your drink? Hold on, we're Coke. Yeah, Coke. Coke. Uh huh, anything else for you? And then can I get just one sausage burrito? Okay. Um, and then can I also get a medium vanilla iced latte? Uh huh. Um, a little bit extra vanilla in it. Uh huh, anything else? Um, in a large water. Uh, anything else? That's it. Yeah, we were supposed to leave between, we were supposed to leave the house between 7 and 7.15. And even, okay, can my hair please not? I forgot to put oil on my hair. So it's flyways. But anyway, we were supposed to leave between 7 and 7.15. And we're at McDonald's. And um, we're like maybe 10 minutes from the house. And it's 7.50. We're going to be so freaking late. All because of you. It's his fault. Look at the stash. Check the stash. Okay. And you have to change have, into your to, cap and gown. I literally have to like, <laughs> zip it up. Hey everybody, so I just got out of Richard's graduation. We all went to eat with like his family, my family went, um, and now I'm in the car. I just changed into like casual, well, <laughs> ignore my unbuttoned pants. I just ate, but anyway, the graduation's over. Everything went really good, um, but I have an appointment at the LASIK eye place at 3 o'clock because it's like my last follow-up appointment with them. So it's 2 o'clock right now. I'm in Garner. So I figured I was going to go to Sephora, but there's an Ulta right across the street. So I'm going to try to go to Ulta. I really want to find the Charlotte Tilbury powder, setting powder. So hopefully they'll have it. If not, then I'll go to Sephora, I guess. Um... So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put Ulta in to the GPS, and I'm gonna go to Ulta, and then I'll go to my eye doctor appointment, and then maybe the mall. We'll see if I can find what I need at Ulta. Then I won't need to go to the mall. Um, but yeah, I love this shirt by the way. It's literally my favorite shirt ever. Um, it's from Banana Republic. And it gives me major, hold on, just wait for my seatbelt to stop uh, going off. Um, but it gives me major like Skims vibes, which right now it's kind of like rolled up. But it's a body suit material, or not body suit material, it's a body suit, but it's just like a really nice soft material. And I guess it's the color that gives me a skim, Skims vibes. But um, they also have like black and nude and stuff like that if anybody wants to look on their website um or maybe i can find it and try to link it but anyway off to ulta fresh out the shower these are my two holy girl products that i use every time i get out of the shower this is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in conditioner i love this stuff it smells so good and then this is the paul mitchell shine serum um it just makes your hair look really shiny and nice i love this stuff got this powder the other day at sephora charlotte tilbury flawless finish powder 
really excited to try it because I've seen it all over TikTok. I got it in the shade medium, but I'm getting ready for my dad's birthday right now. We're gonna go eat. And so I'm gonna try this out for the first time. Just did my makeup and I used the Flawless Filter powder that I just got. And I used it just a little bit under my eyes and right on my forehead. And I didn't use it anywhere else because I didn't want to make everything like super matte. But I think it looks really, really pretty. I really like the way it turned out. I am getting ready to go eat for my dad's birthday. Um, but I'm going to end off the vlog. But before I do, I wanted to go over the whole LASIK eye surgery thing. Because I feel like I never really went into anything about what my experience was. Um, but just a recap, so basically I had, um, taken the Valium, which y'all saw at the beginning of the vlog, I was in that little room, I took a Valium, which made me really relaxed, and then they took me back to the little operating room, um, they took, I took another Valium, which, no, 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 that's not true, I just took the one Valium, and I waited 15 minutes. Then I went back to the operating room. When I got in there, they put a numbing drop in each of my eyes. Which, I'm going to straighten my hair while I'm talking. Um, but they put numbing drops in each of my eyes. And they really didn't wait that long for my eyes to get, like, super numb. I mean, I'm sure the drops worked, like, immediately or whatever. But um, they just basically put the drops in and then said, all right come on over, like, let's start. And I was like, uh, okay, y'all aren't gonna let these, like, you know, marinate for a sec. So the operation itself only took, I would say, like, 10 to 15 minutes total. So maybe, like, five to seven minutes per eye. Like, it was super simple. Um, but it was, a, it was slightly more, I guess I could say painful than I thought it was gonna be. It was just very uncomfortable and very there was a lot of pressure so afterwards i could like feel what they were doing to my eyes and afterwards when the operation was over i like the next day i looked up on google what they were doing or like photos of it they had metal like metal clamps or something inside of my like eyes to hold them open and I could feel that and it was I was like what the freak like this is actually kind of <laughs> kind of hurt a little bit um the laser itself was just it felt almost like when your arm goes numb and starts tingling and goes to sleep it felt like that in my eye um and there were certain parts where they like pressed on my eye and I could feel it and it was just very a lot of pressure I wouldn't say pain but a little bit I do not regret it at all it was the best decision I could have ever made so after I got out of um, the surgery I took another Valium my second Valium and on the way home I had to drive like well I didn't drive my mom drove me home um, I think the car I was like an hour and 15 minutes or something and when I tell y'all that I was in pain I was just, I felt like I had been sprayed in the eyes with like mace or something because it was, it felt like I had shampoo in my eyes. It just stung really, really bad. Um, and then I got home, I got into a dark room and I just went to sleep. I slept the rest of the afternoon and all night. And then I woke up the next morning at like six o'clock in the morning and I was not in any pain. I didn't feel any stinging. I didn't feel any, I didn't feel anything. My eyes felt completely normal. I could see, like right when I woke up, I could see my eyes didn't hurt. Like it was, it was amazing. So I was like, wow, like this was the best thing I could have ever done. So ever since then, I've had to put in like um, some prescription eye drops and also some regular like lubricating eye drops um but i haven't had any issues with my vision it was the best decision if you're thinking about getting lasik or you're just annoyed with contacts or glasses just honestly get it because i'll never have to wear glasses or contacts again for probably the rest of my life or maybe until i'm like 80 or something i don't know 
so it like wears off gradually as I get older, but it's been the best. I haven't had any pain. Like it was just, it was so quick and easy. The little, the stinging and watery eyes after the surgery was over and the surgery itself was nothing compared to the freedom it is to like be able to see without putting contacts in and wearing glasses all the time. So highly recommend. Um, I just wanted to like tell y'all all that in case you're wondering because I don't think I ever really went into detail in this vlog about it. Um, I tried to show a little bit, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. My dad's birthday is tonight, so we're gonna go eat steak, obviously, because he wants steak for his birthday. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.